Hello and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. And this is my monthly Q&A. Uh, I hope you're all well. I hope you're feeling well, especially with COVID uh, and the new restrictions just being put in place. Uh, if you like what you see on the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button to keep you up to date with all my updates and uh, also co comment, leave comments, I'll interact with everyone, uh, especially on, the, on these Q&As. Uh, I love answering the questions, if it's law, I'll, I'll have to, might have to look it up, I'm not so hot on law, but I'm quite happy to look up and do a bit of research. Uh, So drop a question below. Right, let's start. Aaron Atkinson first up. Uh, first, having played several games of ninth edition now, how valuable do you think mobility is being that is first being hard to kill versus having damning jail put? Second, also being a Thousand Suns player after Necrons, of course, where would you start with updating Thousand Suns to ninth edition? Well, first start would be uh, first one. I think you need a mixture of all three. You need to be really mobile, uh, have some uh, tough, durable units, and damage output. Of course, if you're trying to kill your opponents units. I look at it at uh, trying to take out my opponent's most effective units and then just playing the game from there. Uh, you need mobility. Smaller board table doesn't means it's a bit better and um, I, I do have a video coming up next month with a new uh, mat size and I'm going to show you that and that will be one of the best videos up next month. Uh, but you've, you've got to ha have something reliable, consistent. You've got to be able to move around the board. You've got to be able to stay on objectives, especially if you're going second. That's two, t you're looking at two turns of shooting from your opponent. So you more durable armies are going to like going second. Yeah. So and uh, it's all about the secondaries as well. I think with the secondaries, we'll win you the game more times than not. So we're on to the second bit. Also being a Thousand Suns player, up in the Necrons, of course, where would you start with updating Thousand Suns tonight? Well, for me, Thousand Suns are in quite a good place. Uh, If I was updating my my list, I, I would be looking at adding a lot of uh, rubric marines and the rubric terminate and the terminators just be, because of you're getting multiple smites and psychic powers out there. They're they're going to be really hard and tough to remove, and I'd probably want a few like of the zengles on the as well uh, uh the shaman on disc the uh bowcaster ones the uh ooh, and and really just back that up with some shooting uh, uh, uh heavy shooting uh, uh, magnus in there of course if you uh, if you can get him magnus Aramon and two demon princes and then just see where you go from there uh but i think it's really viable yeah, list. I'd have to sit down and work it out exactly, but I would be looking at rubrics in some sort of transports and just to get them around the board and sit on objectives and pull a couple of turns. Uh, get small ones, try a, a, a damage one, they're going to be really good. So that's why I think I'd, I'd start updating 
a thousand suns. On to the next question from Frost and Fist, my wolf brother Mesos. Uh, he says, great answers, bud. Who are your favourite characters of the Space Wolves and Orcs? Have you made any if you're, of your own characters for these armies? What about your own stories? Take care, Cap. Uh, yeah, uh, my favourite characters, Space Wolves wise, has to be uh, Ah, uh, Jack Rockfist and uh, Ragnar. Uh, I would love to see Russ back, but he's not back yet. So I'm going to say on the table, Ragnar and Ah, uh, Jack. Fluff boys, it's got to be uh, Lucas, the trickster, and uh, and of course Russ. Uh, Orkwise, Captain Budruck, and I'm loving the new Gazgul, I've just had it painted up. I will be doing a showcase of that later. Uh, but when I do my army showcase next month, you'll see that. Uh, yes, I've got one for my Orcs, he's my war boss. Uh, something your skull splitter I can't remember I've got it written down uh, and basically the backstory to it to him and his is that he goes around and he offers second chances to those defeated or all, all those orcs that run and he gathers them up into his own war and uh, it's a it's a mishmash of all different clans and bits and pieces so I know even though they're under his banner each of the little squads will have their own banners as well from the clans they came to from but they all answer to him all scared of him next question Edict Beer, 40k Necrons and more. Nick. Uh, he's the uh, Edict Beer, 40k Unification War Gamers group. And uh, they're great. It, it, it's great if you're a YouTuber to pop on there and get support, advice. And just a general hangout. Uh, for this question, great answers, Rich. Have you ever come across someone cheating in a tournament and how did you deal with it? Yes, I was at the LGT last year and that happened. No, I was playing a game, as you know, Nick, because I was messaging you throughout the game because I was playing the Necron player. And as the game was going on, it didn't sit right and there were things that were happening and even though I don't know Necron was inside out uh, I had a feeling it, it, so, uh, that he wasn't playing things right or he wasn't do, doing things right and uh, as I said uh, the feeling was pretty bad so we get to the end of the game and I lost and I'm sitting there and I'm and I'm thinking, something is not right. I'm not happy with, 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 and it was a nagging feeling. It wasn't anything specific I could put my hand, finger on. So I went back through his uh, list he posted on, on the BCP app and I looked at it and I, I looked at his uh, dynasty and he he was a, one dynasty on his list but he was playing a different dynasty for, for strats and bits and I thought well okay that's maybe he's, 
he's made a mistake and he's got got confused in there. So I uh, waited for him to come round back to the table and he for about waited about 20, 30 minutes while I was packing my stuff away and he didn't come back and the TO of the tournament was it passing by and I said to him, look, I've just had this game with this guy. Now, is there any way that when he submitted his list, he could have changed the, the dynasty after the fact? And he said, well, yeah, there are a few people who could who have misput in factions or, or stuff. Uh, he said, I'll, I'll check. And he said, oh, uh, what I'll do is I'll, if, I'll give him a warning. And, and I, I left it out. I was quite happy with that. Uh, I waited around another 20 minutes and the guy didn't turn up. And I thought, you know what? I want to go home and get something to eat and just chill and forget the game. It was that bad. And uh, I'll get home, I'll get back to the hotel and go to, uh, while I'm outside waiting for a taxi to get back to it, there was another guy, Stephen Box, and he he had a similar problem with a, a guy cheating, a uh, uh, different sort of cheating, but he, he, and he'd play a guy before and he, he hadn't wanted to play him, but they said, they said play him and I had a judge there and it, it was the guy who was arguing with judge, but, and, but, but they dealt with that. Uh, as I said, I'll get back up to the talk and then I wake up in the morning and I look at my thing and I, I've, I've been given the win. So I thought, and it was a whitewash. Uh, so, uh, so they'd obviously spoken to him and and, and banned him for what. So I messaged the guy uh, and said, "Look, I'm sorry, you, you, you've got banned. That was never my intention. Uh, I waited for you. You didn't come back." And he, his reply was, "Well, you should have talked to talked to me, and we could have sorted it." I've, uh, I've, uh, I've missed my week, you've ruined my week, weekend because my friends came over uh, to see and play 40k and, and, and have a tournament, fun at the tournament with me. Uh, and I, so I got, no no sorry, I made, it was an honest mistake or, or, or anything which I was expecting. So, yeah, that's how I I dealt with it. I think if you're unsure, you ask to see the codex. You, you, you and if you if you, and then and if you, you don't get a satisfactory answer from your opponent, uh, then you'll, you you take it to the next step, step which is judge or uh, or TO and let them deal with it. And I think if with the BCP app now and, and a lot of a lot of tournaments with the online availability, the, the, this, these cheats could and should be, there should be a system where if they've been yellow carded or disqualified from a tournament for cheating, that other TOs and event organisers can see and make their own uh, judgment call. Uh, and if they get so many, if they get uh, a ban from one or more tournaments, maybe it, it's a, year, a year's ban or, or something more. Just so, but be decent. And there's a load of decent players out there, top top players who are just there to have fun, a laugh, yeah, win.
we will if you're at a tournament you're there to 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 win games uh, not necessarily the whole tournament you're there to win games have fun meet people uh but there has to be a way to 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 stop the cheating uh, and, and and make it hard for them to attend your events and discourage it thank you nick i hope that answers your question Russian Quill just says, thanks for your answers, Mon Capitan. Shame I dropped out of GW as it would have been good to have a game, though I'm sure you would work before me, so they like always an eclectic get collector as me. Uh, my next question is from Red Green. Well, neat stuff, okay. Question time. Next time after COVID-19 been saved and do thing again, Again, if you had a chance to go outside the UK to say to the States or blank which 40k YouTuber would you like to see in person and do a YouTube thing together then do not do not remember if I put one last time but I did now well Red uh, I think I I would love a week of YouTubing with Nick Nenaventi uh, just battle reports. He's one of the best players in 40k uh, and, and to have just a week of battle, battle reports with him uh, would be absolutely and to pick his mind and would be absolutely uh, brilliant. There are other YouTubers out there. Uh, the, uh, I'll give you a non 40k YouTuber I wouldn't mind meeting in person. They're, they're the uh, girls from Come Curious and uh, also Hannah Whitten, uh, from, uh, uh, who's a sex educator, and she. Uh, I love their channels for different reasons. Uh, the Twisted Dice, uh, Robbie from AFTV. I'd like to meet. He's he's English, uh, but uh, and but, but he's he, I'm an Arsenal fan, Aguna. So and he, he that's the biggest uh, channel. For, so I, I have seen and spoken to him briefly, but not on YouTube. So yeah, I, I don't mind getting on the AFTV and having a chat with him. I've got a war from Marcus Castanellas. Uh, Taz Taser says I have a great, great, great weekend as well. I've got a uh, one from Peter Nicholas, and that's hi Cap Capitan. A question for your forthcoming Q and A: How do you think Space Marines will differ in ninth edition? If better than before, how much and in what ways, and will you continue? collect and play them things uh i think everything will differ it's just the way the game set up and play i still think they'll be really good i think they've got a very good toolbox to pick from to play play the addition and, and the rule set and the mission sets uh don't think It'll differ too much. You, you might see a few more transports and bits, but I don't think it, it's going to be a thing. I think you might see different factions. Uh, uh, I, I think the fists and salamanders and, and things might come to the fore more than just Gulliman and the Ultramarines because of the way, uh, especially the way. Uh, all buffs are going to go, go now. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. I had one from... Uh, and that was... Uh, yeah. That was Peter Nicholas, that question. From... I've got one from the uh, uh, 
miniatures paintbrush. He, he said, did you ever get a box from Gamecraft Road? And I said, when will the book you do when I'm boxed by me? So that's like I said, to, to see he he like a dickhead. I'm, uh, unfortunately, I think down to COVID and, and bits, I still haven't got it. It's what, I've been about eight weeks now since he messaged, I, I sent him my address and that. Uh, it is what it is. I, th I think due to COVID and the... Uh, 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 and, and parcels being a little bit late and that it's going to be a few more weeks but as soon as i get it i will do an unboxing and i will put it straight up no i can't do live videos at the moment otherwise i do it live and yes i'm too like a big kid i can't wait to see what he's done from what he said on his uh, video i've I am not really looking forward to picking, getting wet and, and going through it. Thank you for your question. Uh, there's one from Alexander Warren. Thank you very much sharing for your update for this month. Uh, Johnny Riggs, hi Sam, thanks for your update video. Have a great day. And then Pycar, this is the last one. Hey Richard, as Nick inspires me to collect and play Necrons, you got me interested in Space Force. I just picked up the Start Collecting box recently and would love to hear your thoughts on the units inside as well. As good, some good tactics for the box, maybe some advice for future units I should consider. Keep it up, mate. Well, I have spoken to you uh, personally. I would say from, uh, the box sets all right. I think with a new uh, table size and that, Thunderwolves will be okay. The the uh, the uh, troop choices are good. The Lords good. Uh, I would be looking at maybe on the hunt. Uh, I love Black Claws, but Grey Hunters are just as good. Uh, maybe putting them in the Rhino uh, and getting them up the table, setting on objectives. Uh, Drop pods if you want, first turn, dropping in and just getting in charges. Uh, they are, we're in a good place here. Uh, Transhuman phys physiology is a good strap that they've got now. Uh, and I, I, it'll be interesting to see how the new or buff where they. they they, they're not going to buff everyone, they're only going to buff certain things, how, how that works and how how that changes uh, things around. Uh, there's some new units coming out, of course. There's, you've still got the ABTV, the uh, all-terrain vehicle, ATV, uh, to come with multi-mounters. They look good for land speed of storms for space halls. They uh, with Wolf Scouts in look a decent option. Yeah. Space Wolves have, have, again, because they're Marines and with the Prime Airs, you've got a lot of tools there. It's just picking what works for you and, and going. If you start collecting boxes, it's fine. Uh, just play with it. Just look at certain strats and see. Uh, I'd get some Room Priests maybe to, uh, to add some psychic in there uh a wolf priest just to give you some uh healing etc uh, but you want a bit of speed a little bit of uh durability in that list uh, uh, and long things me long things shooting it, they take care of vehicles and monsters and such quite nicely uh, and, that's and it goes morning captain question for your next you and i walked over is right around the corner do you think gw will remember this year and if so what governments would you like to get i'm not looking for any governments to be honest but i don't think october with the releases of the new codexes etc will happen and i i'm expecting that to be from third parties like cromlech and uh Bit, bits of war and all those sorts of uh, companies uh, maybe next year um, we'll see maybe updates on all bits and that's it really take care of 
vehicles and monsters and as such quite nicely. Uh, and that's it. I hope that answers your questions. Thank you for sending the questions in. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you for watching. If you have been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.